Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. It is mid-July, so, finally, it is time to take a look at the final monthly update video for the first set of Clash. Kicking it off at number 1, we have Bodybuilder. This zombie is capable of buffing itself to great proportions. For each unconscious minion below itself in its slot, Bodybuilder gains 5 buffiness. It is certainly a card that can bring some unexpected havoc to the field. At number 2, we have Dead Hard Fan. Although it is another zombie, Dead Hard Fan works a little differently. It can be played unconsciously on either your or your opponent's side of a Clashington. When this happens, it is capable of buffing your minions or debuffing your opponent's minions. At number 3, we have Sleepy Skull. This guy is straightforward in its ways. When it is played, it becomes unconscious, but if you're able to bring it back to consciousness somehow, it can be quite the monster. 50 buffiness is nothing to laugh at. At number 4, we have Stocky Striker. Similar to the basic resistant minions like Bearded Basher and Tiptozer, Stocky Striker completes the set by providing a level 3 counterpart. It may be weak in comparison to other level 3 minions, but its defensive nature can give you time to work on bigger things. At number 5, we have Boom Boom. Never thought shuffling your deck would have any big benefits? Think again. Boom Boom is the quirky freak that makes you want to shuffle, especially if you want buffs to go around. Alright folks, we are down to the final 5 cards of the entire first set of Clash on Clashington, and as you may expect, these guys are certainly going to be something special. So, without further ado, it is time to show what this set can offer. So at number 6, we have the persnickety, the perceptionist, Tom McPeeper. He may seem small in stature, but McPeeper's insatiable curiosity makes him present anywhere on the field. Keep this little guy conscious, and you will realize his true potential. At number 7, we have the small, the surprising, Splug. The ultimate saver or surprises, Splug provides an amazing benefit when you use surprises. If you trigger a surprise event in the previous turn, you gain an extra action during the current turn. Who says size is all that matters? Well, I guess you could say our next one is a counter argument for that, but in a pleasant way. At number 8, we have the kind, the courageous, Cheeks. Where friendship is everything, Cheeks proves to be the most loyal. Gaining 5 buffiness for every other VIP minion on the field, Cheeks can prove to be a powerful force to face against when it comes down to the big shots. At number 9, we have something a little unexpected. It is D Magic Man. A true keeper of the clash, D Magic Man is capable of halting things, at least for a while. Use him wisely, for he is capable of providing you with anything you need. That anything be in time, of course. And finally, at number 10, to finalize the first set of Clash, we have the most formidable of forces, the gassiest of gooses, and the most powerful minion in Clash to date, Von Goozer. Don't be intimidated by this goose's card, for it is a new type of minion in Clash altogether, a biggin. The way how biggin minions work is that they require a sacrifice of sorts before they can be placed onto the field. Von Goozer, for example, requires you to make 6 levels worth of minions you control in a Clashington unconscious in order to play it in that Clashington. So gaze and wonder at this big baddie's power, for this is the Von Goozer. Anywho, that is the entire first set of Clash on Clashington. I hope everyone who has been part of the ride enjoyed the creation of these cards, but the end is not over just yet. One final fix-it vid shall finalize all of the cards. Furthermore, two more deck profiles will be made and placed onto the dropbox as well. And soon after that, Clash on Clashington will be available on GameCrafter. As such, new videos to finalize Clash will be coming soon. And then we will be taking a break from Clash once all proper changes have been made in order to pursue some other, newer ideas we have in mind. But until then, and as always, we at Homebrewery Gaming wish all of you out there the best of luck, to have the most fun, and to keep on clashing.